Hey everyone, finish watching the next Pine Rangers SPD episode, Stakeout. Emperor Grum breaks a criminal out of a prison. At SPD headquarters, Sid tells the others about her parents coming up to celebrate her birthday later. She insists she doesn't actually care and it's more for her parents. Kruger gathers the Rangers to inform them of the recent criminal escape. He has an idea of where they'll go. Jack chooses Sid to accompany him on a stakeout of a former partner of the criminal, Dr. Reyes, because she's had surveillance training in the past. Sid is disappointed she'll miss her birthday. When Jack asks her about what she said earlier, she admits she lied. Jack and Sid set up in an apartment building. The others are at a beach. They see the criminal, Sanuku, enter a cave. They wait to see what he does. He comes out with a suitcase. They try to arrest him. He summons some crybots to distract the rangers. After a battle, he escapes. Sanuku meets up with Bridwing. He shows them what's in the suitcase. Magnetons. They're capable of disarming robots. They need an activator to work, and Sanuku plans on finding Dr. Reyes, who may have it. Jack and Sid are continuing to stake out Dr. Reyes. Jack orders a pizza, and Sid thinks it's a nice gesture for her birthday, but it turns out Jack just ordered the pizza for himself. Piggy invites himself in and takes some pizza. Piggy asks Jack what's wrong with Sid, and he's shocked when Jack tells him it's because he made her work on her birthday. Jack decides to go for a walk. He passes by some kids at a birthday party and then spots a purse snatcher. He chases them down and discovers it's a crybot. He defeats it and returns the purse. It turns out it belongs to Dr. Reyes. He walks her home and Sid sees from up in the apartment. She's mad at Jack. She thinks he's just being reckless. Jack tells Sid that he and Reyes were talking about birthdays and he was curious why birthdays were so important. He explains that he doesn't know when his birthday is and no one ever had time or money for one when he was growing up. Sid apologizes for before, and Jack apologizes for spoiling her birthday. Suddenly, a giant robot bursts out of the middle of the city. The rangers get the zords, but Sanuku slips away. Jack returns to the stakeout area. Dr. Reyes is gone. Piggy tells him an alien dragged her away. Dr. Reyes shows Sanuku where she hid the activator. Jack shows up to stop Sanuku. Sanuku tries to fire one of the magnetons at Jack, but Dr. Reyes stops him. The other rangers show up, and Sanuku calls out his robot. The rangers once again form the Megazords. Sanuku fires a magneton at them, but they deflect it back, knocking him out of his robot. They trap him in a containment card. The rangers then throw a surprise party for Sid, and she offers to share her birthday with Jack. This is another awesome episode and a great opportunity to explore two characters at once. Jack and Sid paired up provides unique perspective on both of them. They have radically different backgrounds, and that leads to them not understanding each other's actions. Jack doesn't comprehend why a birthday is something worth celebrating, while Sid lived in a relatively luxurious life where birthdays were a big event. Jack grew up poor, possibly homeless, and birthdays weren't even a consideration. While the two's opposing personalities lead to conflict, they behave like rational people for the most part and talk things over with each other. Aside from the character focus, this is a pretty standard episode. The bad guy is working for Grum and Brudwing and has some high-tech weapons. What's more interesting than him is that he once had a human partner. They were scientists before he turned to crime. I like when human characters are implied to have some backstory with the monsters. It's a rare situation. KO35 gets a mention, but it doesn't actually mean anything. I do prefer utilizing existing settings over new one-off mentions, but it'd be nice if a reference was actually relevant in some way. This episode features the Rangers playing a holographic game with Blue Centurion from Power Rangers Turbo and Cyclopter from Lightspeed Rescue. It's odd to me that a season about futuristic police dealing with aliens, they had Blue Centurion's suit available, and this was all they used it for. Blue Centurion should be working at SPD. Maybe we could see him occasionally in the background. This is a situation where having a fan behind the scenes would have made a big difference. Cyclopter, I have no strong feelings for. He was probably just used because his suit was still in good shape. Piggy gets some fun moments here. He comes off as uh, far more sympathetic than in his past appearances. While he does still technically uh, extort Jack for information, all he wanted in return for the information was an invitation to Sid's birthday party. I watched the Decaranger episodes this was adapted from, and unlike some past SPD episodes that felt very similar to their Decaranger counterparts, this one feels more like it was a condensed version of it, since in Decaranger this plot was spread out over two episodes, and that allows this episode to stay very focused and not deviate from its main focus. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was the whole birthday plot, and 
Jack not understanding about the importance of a birthday is kind of reminiscent of in Lost Galaxy. There's an episode where Maya doesn't understand birthdays and she eats this birthday cake that Kendrick's made and at first she doesn't really understand why does this matter and then she realizes, oh, it's because birthday cake is traditionally a thing made for birthday celebrations and then she's like, oh, okay, I get it now. I think this is actually handled a little better because in that one, she doesn't understand, Maya doesn't understand the importance of birthdays, but then she sees birthday cakes and then she just automatically understands. It's kind of weird because she does not, no one explains to her what a birthday is. Maybe she can read English suddenly? They remembered the, oh yeah, she's an alien and she's not familiar with earth customs, but then she just automatically knows what a birthday cake is, or can read suddenly, somehow. So, yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.